Hello everyone, welcome to Rice Capital video tutorial. Today we'll be talking about our new strategy called RCH scalping. If I explain that, that is the Rice Capital Heikenashi scalping strategy. Before I go into the strategy, uh, let me show you how to get uh, your Heikenashi chart open on NinjaTrader 8. So if you go onto any of the charts, then go to data series and then from this type drop down menu, you will be able to see Heikenashi. You just need to select that, you need to select the based period type. So for now I have selected date and that's it. You just need to press apply OK. That should give you the Heikenashi chart. Now, so this strategy was built mainly for daily time frame. I'm going to show you why. But having said that, you can use this strategy for higher time frame like weekly, monthly, and also for intraday time frame, which is five minutes, fifteen minutes, sixty minutes, any any intraday time frame. But I will explain you later how to use them. So if you look at this daily Heikenashi chart, you should be able to see how the color of the bar changes this is very significant for this strategy so by default this strategy enter the market when the color of the bar changes and exits when it changes again so for example if you look at here when it changes from green to red it will enter the market here and it will continue the trade and when the color of the bar changes from red to green then it will exit and again it will enter the market when color of the bar changes to green and exit here it's a very simple strategy nothing complicated but this automated strategy gives you lots of features to use for better trading decision this is a very interesting strategy if you try, you can use it to other bar type, but this strategy is not going to work because it will show error. For effective use of this strategy, you need to use Heikenashi bar type chart. Now, from the chart in front of you, you can see the color of the bar changes, and if you can pinpoint your entry and exit effectively, you can have better opportunities for making some profit and if you look at the chart you can see how the color of the bar changes what is the regular behavior tendency you should see basically it goes really really for a long period of time there will be occasion when you will have this kind of situation where there is no significant trend for some time but having said that in trading on investment you cannot make profit each and every time there will be some downtime and you have to figure out what are the time you need to be aware of so this strategy basically is very simple when the color changes it enters the market and when the color changes again it exits the market but i'm going to tell you something a little bit more when i will show you the chart on lower time frame let me go to a 15 minutes Heikenashi chart. Right, so this is a 15 minutes Heikenashi chart, and as you can see, there is a significant trend and movement at that period of time, but also there is a few hours during the day when the market is not going to be trending so you need to be very very mindful of that period of time if you can figure out what is the regular trend of that kind of sideways market then you can restrict your trade entry with our strategy which i'm going to show you now let me get the strategy up and running and I will show you how you can restrict. As you can see, you can restrict your trading entry with these two different station time range. So if you're using a daily or above time frame, then you shouldn't use this because 
then it will not work properly but if you're using anything below daily then you can restrict basically between what time to what time your strategy should enter the market so if you want to avoid this period of time then you can select basically after this should be your begin time one and end time should be somewhere there because it is trending well um, if you want to have two different sessions for any entry then you can select one session there and the other session for that particular day for some of the instruments and if you trade forex there will be times when you want to select two trading sessions where you want your strategy to enter the market instead of just one particular time then you can select two different sessions from here so for example if you want your strategy to enter the market between nine o'clock in the morning until like um two o'clock in the afternoon and then again if you want your strategy to enter the market from um 7 pm and if you want your strategy to end entering the market by 9 pm then that's it that's the settings then also you can select the days as well what date you you want your strategy to enter the market and you can select from there and if you want to receive email when your strategy enter the market and exit the market uh, every time you can check this box generate alerts and you can type in your email address there and that will send you email to your personal email inbox and about the other settings um, you can choose basically um, how much quantity you want depending on your trading style and trading risk management um, this strategy basically calculate on each tick so I would suggest to keep rest of uh, the default settings there and when you are done with that just enable and apply and there we go if you want to see visually at what level your strategy is placing order you can keep your chart trader open but if you don't want to you can close it but it will plot the text and if you don't want to see the text just want to see what level uh, your strategy entering and exiting the market you can keep your chart trader if you don't want your chart to plot text and marker then you can select do not plot or if you want to see only markers you can select markers only but if you want to see basically uh, how much it has placed um, in for the trading and what point and then you can select text and marker now for this tutorial let me change the time range to default settings so that i can show you how it works and if you want to limit your trading session then you can do that so as you can see the color of the bar changed here when it turns from green to red right and when the next uh, bar starts it enters the market here so let me run it and see how it goes It will continue until uh, the color of the bar changes to green and then it should exit and enter for the next round. Order filled. Right, so as you can see, there e was a green bar there so the strategy exited the market position so it not only exited it also entered the market with a long order so if this bar still remains red then it will exit this long order and enter a short order so let's see how it goes There we go so as we discussed so it didn't go to long side rather it continued the red 
though it exited that long order and now enter the short order and let's see if it continues then again we'll make more profit Filled. Right, so the color of the bar changed here into green. So we exited the market and enter a long order because now the color of the bar is green. So that's how it works. Now you can ask me how to avoid this time when there is no market direction. Because it works really good when there is a trend. To avoid that, I have shown you previously that from the settings you can restrict at what time during the market you want your trading to enter the market. That's how you can avoid this particular time of the day. So now if you know from the market behavior that every day uh, between 6.45 until uh, 5.15 the market is behaves sideways then you can just select to trade after that so that's how you restrict and improve your probability of making profit from this strategy right so I want to show you one of the really really amazing feature of this strategy so many times we have seen that for some reason your platform crashed or you have to close your uh, platform during the weekend and what happens to the strategy after the weekend or after the crash when you reopen your chart so do you close your strategy what happens to, with that so to remove that problem this strategy can take over from where it left there is a short um, trade in place so I will reduce the speed to regular speed and I will demonstrate how it works so let's keep playing and I'm not going to pause or stop to make sure that you understand how it works so there is a short trade in place on GBP USD 15 minutes Ekinashi but you need to remember that you keep the settings as it is like for example the trade quantity is 10 everything should remain same so let me just keep it running and assume that today is uh, the Friday night we need to close the platform or uh, the platform crashed or something happened that we had to close our chart or platform let's, let's close the chart but it still keep that running so I'm not gonna do anything with that so let me open a fresh new chart Let me open a fresh new chart on taking on sheet 15 minutes. Um, so that is the chart and then you open the chart trader. So the position is still running because it should be, but let me add the strategy on to that. same okay. enable as you can see still um, the price and everything is moving on the continuous data let's apply so it's still running there is no pause or nothing so it is working perfectly and to prove that that is the account data right 
and you can see um, the unrealized profit is still running and the sync is true which is very important because if it didn't sync properly it should have said false so this is one of the best features of this strategy especially after you reopen your platform and after you it crashed so let me just quickly run it um, first so that we know how it works so after basically we reopen um, it does all its calculation and continues like that let me just speed up and to see does it really behave uh, as it should be and also let me bring the account data um, as a proof um, that it works perfectly so let me speed up to it. Keep it 50. Very slow. Build. right so that actually worked as you can see before the crash we enter the market with a short position then at that point basically we close the chart we, we try to pretend that our platform crashed or we had to close the platform for some reason then after we reopen we had an open position in place and we added the strategy and as you can see and now it has exited and entered a long position there but it worked absolutely perfectly well and you can see the sync as true so that is one of the best features which is really really rare to get with a automated strategy because everyone is concerned about what happens if my platform crashes with our strategy it is not a problem but for any reason for example if this green continues up here then what will happen um, it will recalculate and it will exit immediately on to the next um, green bar because it will calculate this um, red burst now change to green but for any reason if it is continued from the red and there was a long gap before it crashed and you reopen your chart and again if it moves to green and then again came back with red bars then it will continue until your red bars change into a green i hope this strategy will help you to make your trading more beneficial for you if you have got any questions you can contact us if you have got any any feature request you can send it to us and wish you successful trading and investment.